Really? If you like this movie, I know another one you'd love. It's called Watching Paint Dry for Six Hours. Wasn't that directed by Sherwin Williams? Nine bucks. It should be six bucks. I got two new movies and you have the rent one new movie, get two old movies free promotion. Ghost World is new. This is the old edition, not the new Criterion edition. Fine. Six bucks. Say, are you guys hiring? We actually just hired a new sarcastic Asian dude, so... No, we don't carry full screen movies, but you can get the same effect if you hold your hands like this. That job's filled. Anyway, the three times you come in every week are three more times a week than I can stand you. Whatever. Uh, you might try the movie theater. You fit right in there. They're all assholes, too. Welcome to the Multiplex 10 Cinemas. What movie, please? Hello. I would like one ticket for a friend request. I'm going to review it for my blog. Dude, it's like a ripoff of The Ring, but with Facebook instead of a VHS tape. Every single plot twist is more ridiculous than the last. Um, is that good? No, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, but of course, I will review it with complete objectivity. I'm sure your reader will be very grateful. Do you want to watch Love and Friendship when we get home? It's like the only Jane Austen movie I haven't seen and... Actually, what a coincidence. Kurt is coming over and we were talking about watching Pride and Prejudice and zombies. Okay, I totally respect that you want to spend time with your new boyfriend, but Kurt's over at our place like every night and his taste in movies is... It's not that bad, is it? What was that movie he made us watch the other night? Zombievers? I thought it was funny. Zom beavers. I really like him, Becky. I can't tell him not to come over anymore just because he has terrible taste in movies and clothes and decorating. Okay, fine. Everything but women. What if we found someone else for him to watch movies with? <gasps> A movie buddy, yes! Someone he can nerd out with about directors and camera angles or whatever movie nerds talk about. But who? Keith likes horror movies. Ew, no. We're gonna have to hang out with him, too. Keith's like if Billy the Puppet became a real boy. I love you. I could have died in that Obviously not Sunny, but what about Angie? I don't know. Kurt likes talking about the movies after, and she's even quieter than you. Hmm. I'll talk to you later, Kurt. Franklin would be cool to get to know better. You look like a worthy opponent. Player two has entered the game. We're not just looking for somebody who likes movies. They need to be, oh my god, look, that guy has like six DVDs from Flickhead. Who even rents DVDs anymore? <gasps> Nerds. Excuse me, are you guys hiring? We're always hiring. Can I get an application? Sure. Just bring it back when Do you're- you have a pen? Or fill it out now if you want. Do you need to call my old employers? Why? Sweet! My Torino Blade Runner 2049 finished. I can't wait to watch that on my new phone. Oh my god, are you applying here? Melissa, Becky, this isn't appropriate. Why do you rent movies on disc? Is your internet out? Some of these aren't available digitally anywhere. At least not legally. Couldn't you just torrent them? No. Let the right one in. Is that the vampire movie with Chloe Grace Moretz? My boyfriend Kurt loves that one. That's Let Me In, the Hollywood remake of this film by Thomas Alfredson. You're hired. Melissa, you can't hire people. Shh. Have I ever been wrong before? You've worked here for four months. And have I ever been wrong before? The uniform is a white shirt, black tie, black pants, and black shoes. You are perfect. Perfect. I can't wait, we're gonna be able to hang out together without them. Get you start them. tomorrow at six, I guess. Mm. 
No dick jokes. That's not good first date material. You'll scare him off. What if he wants to talk about Star Wars? Don't talk about yourself too much. Ask him questions, or he'll get bored, and you'll scare him off. And don't talk too much about horror films. They're creepy. And And you'll you'll scare scare him him off. off. Why are you so excited for me to meet this guy if you- Oh my god, here he is, here he is, this is happening! Hey, what's up? Hi. Kurt. I'm Jason. Right. So, do you like movies? That's why I got a job at a movie theater. I also like movies. Ask him questions. What's your favorite movie? I don't like the word favorite. It implies that you're only stating an opinion. The greatest movie ever made is Late Spring by Yasujiro Ozu. He also made Tokyo Story. My favorite movie of all time is the original 1968 Night of the Living Dead by the empresario of horror himself, George A. Romero. May he rest in peace. Never seen it. But if it's anything like the tidal wave of unmitigated shit that diuretically spewed out from the gaping butthole of the film industry in its wake, I can't possibly be missing out. Dang it. Night of the Living Dead is a classic! Every zombie movie is exactly the same. Jump cuts, gratuitous gore, half-assed attempts at symbolism. You haven't even seen it! And lots of Dutch angles to hide the fact that they couldn't afford to buy a tripod. Dutch angles are awesome. People use them because they're effective. I think what you meant to say was cliche. I think what you meant to say was, I'm Jason. I hate things that are awesome. I don't sound like that. Guys, the customers can hear you all the way down in the lobby. Have fun getting to know each other on bathroom duty, because that's where you're spending your entire shift. Aw, come on. Show Jason the supply closet. Sorry, Neil. Sorry. Melissa, box office. Becky, concessions. Go. It could have been worse. At least we found out he's a gaping butthole before Kirk got too attached. Hey, wait a second. Melissa said you rented Let the Right One In. That's a horror movie. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy was way better. Same director. I know. Anyway, it was also a drama, not a horror movie. It's a vampire movie. So is Twilight. What about Devil's Backbone? That's a supernatural thriller. Oh, come on. Devil's Backbone is about a haunted orphanage. How is that not horror? Is Pan's Labyrinth horror? No, it's more of a dark fantasy. That's totally different. What about Alien? That's science fiction. And horror. You can't just say any good horror movies aren't really horror movies. That's such a cop-out. Fine. Maybe sometimes actually talented filmmakers make movies that use horror tropes, but most horror movies are still schlocky garbage from people who don't know how to elicit a single authentic thought or emotion in their audience, so they just try to gross people out. What's wrong with that? You watch movies like there's gonna be a quiz later. Movies should be fun. The most fun I've had watching a movie in the last week was when I saw Beavers. It had cool special effects, and it was funny, sometimes even intentionally. And also, there were boobs. Yeah, it sounds like a cinematic classic. I didn't say it was good, I said it was fun. Where's the fun in watching a shitty movie? I like the fact that even in the most cliche plot imaginable, you don't know what's gonna happen next or what insane shit someone's gonna say because the writers don't care about the rules. I like spotting all the plot holes and laughing at the terrible acting. I like it because they show me things that good movies never do. I like it because they're different. No, I take that back. I love it. I love it! I can't believe you dragged me to see that stupid clown movie. Could they have ripped off Stranger Things any harder? So we're getting some coffee and talking shit about this movie for the next two hours or what? Well, sounds like it just dropped, which means our shift ends in about five minutes. I was thinking about watching the Flatliners remake or sequel or whatever it is. I'm sure you have something better to do. (sighs) Why can't anybody do anything original? But if you're going to watch it, I'll see it with you. 
Really? Yeah, whatever. I heard there's an 11-minute scene where they argue about whether or not they qualify as zombies. So what are we doing tonight? Actually, Jason and I are going to see Flatliners. Why? Why? He's such so a jerk. Dumb. I mean, he's such a jerk. Yeah. You could join us. Hard pass. Suit yourself. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. What have we done? Ready? To hate it? I was born ready. Jason, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship.